Hey, good morning. I have a question for you like I always do every morning. Do you find it easy to share even the little that you have with others? Or do you find it hard and you're always having excuses why you cannot? Good morning. Breakfast with James Okomo. Breakfast is served. So, stewardship attitudes is what's on our menu this week and we are looking at it from the story of the Good Samaritan. Many times when you look at this story, we just think about kindness and helping others, but there are some attitudes we are learning from. This morning, let's look at Luke 10, 33 and 34. It says, But a Samaritan, foreigner, who was traveling, came upon him, and when he saw him, he was deeply moved with compassion for him and went to him and bandaged up his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them to soothe and disinfect the injuries. And he put him on his pack animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Attitude number three. Remember, Monday we talked about the attitude of the robbers. What you have is mine and I will take it by force. Yesterday we looked at the attitude of the priest and the Levite. What I have is mine and I will keep it to myself. Today we look at the attitude of the Samaritan, whom we call the Good Samaritan. His attitude was, what I have is ours and I will share it when I need to. This man was on a journey and he found a man beaten and left for dead. And he used up his time and he used up his resources to ensure that this man was well taken care of. He poured oil and wine on his wounds to clean them up and to disinfect them. He put him on his donkey and he took him to an inn and cared for him. A total stranger. How many of us would be willing to do that for a stranger? Many of us would even find it hard to do that even for a relative. But yet he did it. It cost him his time. He had to change his journey. It cost him his resources. But he did it. Why? Because he was moved with compassion. He saw a fellow human being in pain. I find it interesting how when someone is in hospital or when someone has this medical appeal, sometimes we ignore it and we are not willing to give but the moment they die, we throng the funeral meetings and we are so willing to give to have them buried. That doesn't help them. We need to change our attitudes and we need to have the attitude that says, what I have, God has given it to me and I will share it with as many people as I can. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, may we be found to have the same attitude as the Good Samaritan who was willing to change his journey to postpone his things and to care for a man who was left for dead, a total stranger, that he was willing to put his resources to work. It cost him time, it cost him energy, it cost him money, it cost him resources, but he was still willing to do it. Why? Because he was moved with compassion for a fellow human being. May the same be found in us. We thank you, we give you praise, in Jesus' name we pray, and everybody say it, Amen. When God gives you an opportunity to help somebody out, don't give excuses. Help them out. Shortly, Kingdom Culture. So this week on our Kingdom Culture, it's all about forgiving one another. And this has really been tough. Oh, this one is tough for many of us. Because we have issues that we are holding people. We are holding people. We are not willing to let go. On Sunday, we are worshipping, but in our hearts, hmm, we are holding people. Let me ask you a question. How many times would you be willing to forgive an individual if they did the same wrong thing over and over and over again in a day? Listen to this scripture. Luke 17, verses 3 and 4. It says, if your brother sins and disregards God's precepts, solemnly warn him. And if he repents and changes, forgive him. Even if he sins against you seven times a day and returns to you seven times and says, I repent, 
you must forgive him. That is, give up resentment and consider the offense recalled and annulled. Ooh. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. As somebody does something wrong and they come and they say, I'm sorry. And you say, you're forgiven. An hour later, they do the same thing and they come back and they say, I'm sorry. And you forgive them. By the third time, you'll be thinking, dude, you're not serious. Get out of my sight. But yet the Bible says, if they do it seven times in a day, you must forgive them. Let's think about that one. Because this one is a hard gospel to swallow. But it's the truth. And remember, the truth will set you free. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing on Facebook. Thanks for forwarding on WhatsApp. Let's look up again tomorrow to see what God will have in store for us. God bless. Breakfast is served.